Hey guys, what's going on? It's Finite here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create a fusion reactor. Now, uh, what the fusion reactor is, it's the opposite of a fission reactor. It actually joins heavier atoms together to create heat and then produce steam with water. So, as you see, you're going to need a lot of turbines, um, but this actually creates, um, to my calculation, my guess is 1.2 megajoules a second at least. That's what this outputs. So that's a fairly big amount. It's better than the fission reactor actually. So okay, and I'm going to show you how to build this. So it has to be three blocks off the ground. And then you want to make a 7x7 seven seven square. Six. Yeah, so that's a 7x7 seven seven square. Now what you want to do on the corners, you want to go out by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then go across to the other side. Like so. 2, 3, 4, 5. And you want to do that on all sides. Alright, sorry, I made a minor mistake there. I'm back now, so now you want to find the middle of the 7, so it's here. And then, wait, find the middle of this one. 2, 3. So here, go down. So I think the middle is here. Yep. So that's the middle. And this is where you want to put your fusion reactor, but you want to put it on top of it, not. Uh, on the same level. Now I'll just build, dig four on each side like so. Then place electromagnets at the base. Alright, once you did done you once you have done this, you're gonna want to place electromagnets surrounding the fusion reactor in a diamond and then close all this up like so and you want to do this on all sides okay so we've done that now and now you can choose to put electromagnetic glass which I prefer so you can see if it's actually uh, functioning correctly <coughs> so you just want to place it on top like that on all sides. Okay, so we've done that now, and this is how it sh looks like. Now we're going to be building the walls around this to keep the water in. So it has to be too high. Now you just want to do it the edge. You want to do it on the outline of this, this uh, cross or plus sign we've made. So yeah, just do that now. Alright, so once you've done this, this is how it should look like. You're going to want to gonna wanna fill everything with water. So firstly, place four water sources around this area here. And next, you're just going to want to fill up this area. Okay, so we've done that. This bit kind of takes a long, so sorry for that long bit. And now, this is pretty much the whole thing done. All you want to do now is add the reactor turbines. Now you're going to want to closely follow where I place them, because this is actually the exact place where you have to put them. So this is the first one you want to place right in the middle. And you just want to make a line of them. Now in total there should be five on this row. Now it doesn't matter if they go off the edge, 
Some of them will, because even though it's not completely over the water, it will still function properly. So just follow exactly what I built. Alright, so that's the first row done. That's how it looks like. Now we're going to do the next row. It's this one here. Like here, you're only going to have one over the source, two of them over the sources, but this will still function properly. Okay, so this is how it looks like completed with all the turbines. I th no, that's not. Wait, oh, I'm missing another one here. Uh, my bad. All right, let me just finish that quickly off. Okay, so this is how it looks like when it's finished. Uh, 15, 18, 21 turbines in total, full ones. So if you times that by 9, 180, 189, you're going to need 189 reactor turbines to make this. Now the next thing you're going to want is universal cable. You're going to want to attach everything up together. Alright, so I've finished wiring everything up. This is how it should look like. Now you just want to make one big output. So make it come from the middle. You're going to want to come into like so. Now the next thing you're going to need is some energy cubes. Now I don't recommend any type of energy cube. It could be either basic, advanced, or even ultimate. But for this to work, you're going to definitely need an energy cube, not a bat box, as universal cable doesn't uh, attached to bat boxes. So I place one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Now what you want to do is you, you use your wrench and make the output here. This is where it goes into the bat box. Should have made them one apart, but okay. In the bat box you would just place here. Like so. So that's how you're going to get energy from this into there. And now we're going to attach, using this universal cable, you want to, actually no, we don't need this one. You're going to want it to come off the, one of them at least to power it up. Uh, I recommend an energy source, so like using a, maybe like a fission reactor or something to just to start this up. Because at first it's going to use more energy than it creates, but eventually it creates a lot more energy than it's needed needed to run. And then you can you recycle the energy by putting it placing it in this energy cube and going back into there. I'll show what I mean. So after that's done, this is actually it's completely finished. Now let me pray this works. You want to get some deuterium cells, hopefully I said that right. Place it in there. And it's gonna start heating up the water. Oh wait no, I need to put some electricity into it. Sorry. No, like so, and it's going to start heating up the water. See, that one heats up the fastest. So this is all going to start running. Notice, these take the longest to power up because they're least, but they all end up uh, turning. So as you look into our energy cube, it's starting to create a decent amount of electricity, actually. Um... Now this is how it looks like when it's fully running. It's exactly the same and our energy output, if we were to cut this off, 
and place a new one. Just look how quick. One and two and three and four. Okay, it's about 1.3 megajoules a second, let me say that. So yeah, this is how you create a fusion reactor. Uh, to for 1.3 megajoules a second. Now as you see, uh, using this when it's turning, it's gonna replace this going into there. So it becomes pretty much a cycle. And here's another tip I recommend: is you're gonna wanna you can place loads of deuterium into the uh, fusion reactor. So you can just place stacks upon stacks for this thing to run for a long time so you don't need to check up on it so just place there that should last about uh, each term lasts about 10 to 20 seconds so that would be at least an a two hours of running this smoothly so yeah that's my tutorial on how to create a fusion reactor I hope you enjoyed it um, please comment rate and subscribe and all that good stuff Bye.